Here's one you probably didn't think you'd see on the channel. JLC. Should I dare try to pronounce it? Jagalakutra? Mm, I don't know. How was I? I don't know. I'm not going to try it again. That was it. That was the one time. All right. So here we have the JLC Burgundy Solid Case Back uh, Q397846J. Exquisite timepieces pre-owned selection. I'll put a link in the description. Big thanks to John Richardson for sending over this batch of watches. I'll put his direct contact information down below as well. Tell him I sent you. Uh, but the entire crew over there, anybody that you talk to over there, Nick, Tyler, Graham, and Joe, they're all going to be able to help you. It's Honestly, they're always crazy busy. They're such a powerhouse in the industry with over 60 brands they're an authorized dealer for, plus a massive uh, selection from the pre-owned things. They are incredibly busy. So, you know, reach out to John if you can get a hold of him. If not, any of the other guys, they'll help you out too. But this guy here, this is pretty cool. Art Deco style. And, you know, it's the um, kind of the reversal style, right? Where you just kind of, um, uh, you flip it over, right? Like so. But on this one, it's just a solid case back here. Now, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the the intent with this design of a watch was for polo players, you know, with the horses with the sticks and hitting the balls and everything like that. Well, when they were playing their sport, they would just flip the watch over and uh, they didn't have to worry about damaging the crystal or anything. Because they didn't have fancy sapphire crystals back then. Um, and you didn't have to worry about, you know, damaging the watch. So I'm pretty sure that's why these were invented uh, or you know, fabricated this way. Now, the sterile case back like that when you flip it over, I think that's a great opportunity for a special occasion watch. Something with an anniversary or a special um, achievement or something in your life. And you could engrave it and then make it personal and make it a keeper, right? I think that's a good opportunity for it. Or, you know, if you're just playing polo, you want to flip it around and not damage your watch, you could do that too. I don't personally know any polo players. Um, but the case on this is 27.3 millimeter wide. Sorry, I bumbled there. The lug to lug is 46 millimeter. The thickness is only 8.7 millimeter. Which, think about that. I mean, they have this whole bridge structure, and then they have this piece that flips over the architecture of the watch, and still only being 8.7 millimeter thick. Pretty cool. There's a mechanical movement inside. Uh, 20 millimeter lug width here and a 5.9 millimeter crown. It is just a hand wind movement with a small seconds. So if we zoom in, you can get a closer look at that. Hopefully you can kind of pick up on that burgundy if I catch the, the light just right. It's like a, I mean, it's the quintessential burgundy, like a blood red, the deep burgundy color. Um, the movement inside is a caliber 822. It's an in-house 42 hour power reserve. Uh, very cool architecture. Unfortunately, you don't get to see it on this watch. At the end of this video, I'm going to drop in a picture that I sourced from the internet. I'll also put, uh, I think it's Watchbase. I'll put a link to their website. Um, I go there a lot to source information about movements. So it's a really good resource as well if you're looking to research movements and geek out on them. 30 meter water resist. Don't get it wet. Why why you get why do you want to get this watch wet? Why do you want to swim in this watch? Don't swim in this watch. And if you're wearing a watch like this, you don't do dishes. You don't do dishes. You wash your hands and be careful. Don't get too much water on it, okay? That's it. If you're wearing a watch like this, you're not swimming in it and you're not doing the dishes. So we don't care. Check out this leather strap though. Awesome alligator leather strap. Uh, I don't know if I can read that. I can't really read that. Too many curves and stuff. But a great uh, looking strap combination with this watch. No loom on it. This is more of a dress, you know, sport, dress, casual type watch. I think you could be pretty versatile with it. Would I wear something like this? Um, yeah, maybe for an evening. I don't know that i go out and buy one of these personally, but that's not my jam. It, maybe it's your jam. Most of the watches I show on this channel aren't necessarily watches that I would purchase. I show them because... There's other people out there that are very interested in these watches. This being from the pre-owned selection of 
uh, exquisite timepieces. I'll put a link in the description for it. Um, I think you get a decent deal on it. I don't know what the retail price is on these, but uh, the price they have on it didn't seem like it was too terrible for a brand and a caliber of watch like this. Here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Uh, definitely a unique look. It's not something I'm used to, but I can see the appeal to it. Incredibly comfortable, first of all, and plenty legible for a shape like this. I, I have no problem telling the time with it. So I will probably have a difficult time picking a uh, an option uh, because this being pre-owned, chances are when you go to click on the uh, link that I provide that it could be gone, right? You might not have the option to buy it. So what I'd like to do in this scenario when I show these pre-owned watches from Exquisite is offer up a alternative from one of their authorized dealer brands that they carry. Pretty wild crystal on this. Check out the distortion on that because it follows the contour of the case perfectly. And then you can see it has a little flash of AR coding. If you catch it right there, you can kind of see a blip back and forth. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you on the next video.